Ja, det är det. Det är
ladies and gentlemen, this is a very sad occasion for the Shadow Curl Club because we are packing tonight with one of the greatest fellows ever we had. That is Andy Curl.
Kalam Palam and Tabadigam and the Flower and Giant to see me again, none other than our old friend Jerry here. We'd like to say a good word. Jerry, good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Andy, Mrs. Corn, and the Corn family. First and foremost, I think I had maybe as much or more to do with Andy Corn going to this club in the first place. I think when he started as a young fella, I encouraged him. We're not about, we were playing for the county at that time, I was in charge of them. And I think I forced him into coming here. And we've got to say a word of thanks to the Castle Finn Club. Now at that time, they could have put a lot of obstacles in Andy's way, in our way. They didn't. They thought of Andy, well, at that time, he could have got more on the bus. Maybe when he could have put them. Maybe he couldn't, but we thought of that way, they didn't stand in his way. His family were the same, I don't think any of them stood in the way. They wished him the best of luck. He has seen a good few years, good years with us, very good years. And perhaps in his later years, now I might see a few good ones with Castle Flynn. Uh, I wish him all the luck in the future, I wish his wife all the luck, his family all the best, and I hope that he has good health to play on for another good few years. Thank you very much.
because it was great to see Andy Smith and his loyal days when Johnny and the boys were playing for Castle Fountain and Andy was playing for McCool. Running up one side of the field shouting at Andy, running down the other side of the field shouting at Johnny. <laughs> it's like a story was told about uh, a player who was an engineer with us. His father was a tailor and this young fellow was very, very thin. And they were playing in Kenny Beggs Regatta and the father was up on the down, down the line and he was saying, why don't you speak Terry? And Terry was very, very light and very, very thin. And this wag on the sideline, they said, why the hell did you feed him yourself when you had him? <laughs> but uh, Andy always looked after the grub man when he was out too. You can say, I'm sure that he was there. Uh, he was a great man for the grub. But anyhow, uh, that be as it may, we are passing Andy over. And I would like now, on behalf of the McCool Club, to officially hand Andy over to the Robert Edmund Club and none other than the person of Gabriel Garden.
I want to go back to when I started here back in 1966. I want to thank two men that came to see me in Castlefin that evening. Dan McCool was one of them, and Dan Lafferty was the other one. I'd also like to thank uh, Gaynard Lafferty and his wife, Madeline, who looked after me when I came there to Bible Faith at the start.
to get him on the seat. He's going to have again. But he, he'll be very faithful to this club when we run in a tournament. None other than we ask for the new referee from Big Sean McGogan. And now that Andy knows who wrote the poem, he wants to say a few words about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it's been a long time who wrote that poem. And James Hugh McLaughlin for it. <laughs> and Liam Reggie for it. <laughs> and now, I don't know, I couldn't figure out who, made, who wrote that poem, but it was finally in those out. Thanks very much. <laughs> and thanks for coming here tonight, yourself and Sean, and your wife. Okay, thank thanks you. a lot. Right. That's it, folks. Thanks for drinking and dancing, and uh, we hope you all enjoyed the night. Thanks a million for coming and such bad weather. Great. Thank you. Thank you.
to us. The pools. The pools. I think we try maybe and relive a few of them for the for the tip, you know. How many championship medals did you win with the first one? Nineteen seventy one was the first championship award. I think he's beating the time that day. Do you remember? Or what the venue was? Donegal to Donegal to Donegal to Donegal to Donegal to That was my first ever senior football championship medal to run. Was it a tough match, was it? It was really a tough match. Some of the players on in the question team that day. And they've gone since, I'm sure, have they? That's right. Two Temple scored, uh, I think it was a one goal right. that would be pretty crucial goal. Is that right? That's right. That was a Donegal Town you speak, did you say? That's right, that's right. Who was the match played against? Played in Bally Shannon. Bally Shannon. On a very good day. Yeah. Quite a good game that day. Yeah. I remember Seamus Gain. Seamus was taken on, and I think a man that, in a way, we thought at the time, and he shouldn't have been taken off. Yeah. No. He scored three points in the court and played a very good game that day. Another a man who gave great service to the club. That's true, Jim. That's true. Good player. Q, uh, John Lennon, I'm not playing them times. No. No, I wasn't. No. What are those players? Michael McMillan. Yeah. Michael McMillan played uh, right. for the county for a few years after. Yeah. Unit Lafferty, Liam Sweeney. That's right. McCool's, uh, McCool's had, uh, after that game in the National League, the first National League game after that, after that uh, 71 final, McCool's had uh, six or seven players, in the, six players yeah, on the six, county team. Uh, and we, we travelled to Louth, I remember it well. And, um, you won one on Tuesday? That was one of the, one of the lucky, yeah, the lucky seven. One of the lucky seven or six <laughs> or whatever it was. I remember we took a mini bus from the club. Oh, uh, that's it. Uh, Eugene drove the bus. That's the club. Myself. And you. Andy McSweeney. And Andy McSweeney. Tommy. 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 Liam Sweeney. That's right. And uh, it was ourselves when I was on. Well, a lot of the way back, we won't talk about the trip back for a bit. We lost the game, I know, didn't we? Against Leith. Yeah. Uh, but what, are, what are those championship success? 77. 77. Did you just that year? We do. And let her kill you. A very low scoring game that was. Yeah. Three points to four, was it? I think I remember that myself. Very, it wasn't, it wasn't, a, wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a great It wasn't a great championship final, I have it, but uh, very bad publicity. Yeah. The Dewar match, the Dewarish match was. He played better in the semi final than he did. He did. What did he expect in the semi final? Glenn was there. Glenn Colin Kill again. Yeah, that's right. Glenn was starting to just come then. Michael Geller was starting to really, you know, bless him as a young fella. Yeah. Bless him, Michael Geller. I think that, that 77 team was one of our best teams because yeah. Jerry here uh, had his. We were in very good shape that year, yeah, yeah, good shape. It was a championship that we worked very hard on. Sure, yeah. And uh, I think the final didn't do us justice yeah. in a way. We had a very good young young team. Yeah. It was very good, you know. Since the 77 final. Well, yeah, and then with one in the, the 71 county final, we got our first uh, president to the Ireland Belfield 7 side competition yeah, in Dublin. That, I ask. And uh, we came up against uh, the famous Watherville yeah. side of Michael Connell, yeah, Michael that, Dwyer. Yeah, sure do. And, uh, How do you guys do that game? We, oh, we got a bye for the first game. Yeah, that's that's right, right. Yeah, against uh, a team from Hockley, um, I think. Was it? Or uh, uh, Longford. We met for a visit to Dave. Uh, it was Longford, I think you're right. Uh, in the first match in the right. they didn't turn up the, the long water ball. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We had uh, Michael Connell was there, Michael Dwyer. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. other big names there. No. They were the two they were great two. names on yeah. the water ball team. Yeah. Michael Connell and Michael Dwyer. Well, it was a pleasure playing against uh, that team, I see, Of course, uh, but uh, I didn't like uh, you know, the way Michael Dwyer went on. He liked the crib, you know, that one. Uh, he gave a lot of chicken on the like cut, you know. Yeah, Tactics again, possibly? Probably. Uh, I remember, well, uh, Seamus Keane going up against Michael Connell there, but I think it was Seamus having a terrible, yeah, right. <laughs> a terrible shot in the event. He didn't mind stick after it, you know. Um, that's the other uh, 
Hugh Temple had a Hugh Temple had a had a dig at Mick O'Dwyer that day as well. It was uh, Mick O'Dwyer is a very big man, like you say. Yeah. You're a big, very big, tall lad. And uh, Hugh Temple, Hugh, Mick, he, he was. He was a, they were, but we found about them now. They were legends to us, you know. Yeah. Too, they were yeah. to us now. They were mighty people yeah. all together. Yeah. We read and yeah. saw them on television, and, yeah. and to play against them was a yeah. was a terrific thing. Yeah. All yeah. together, yeah. You know? like. but what we found about them, we found they were poor sportsmen. Yeah. And I think yeah. we, yeah. we yeah. talked about that after. Yeah. They weren't good sportsmen. Yeah. 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 We got that stage, yeah. but they were playing tough football. They were playing with a great team. Yeah. 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 And your first intercounty experience. Do you remember that? I think it was back in 19. What? No, I was. Mean, the senior. Did you say 53 or 63? 63. 63. I was a sub in that, uh, that minor team in 63. John was a playing member of it, that, that team. Yeah. John was on that team. I, I got on the subs in the, in the final. The final in Kevin, 1963. How did you do in the final? Down, beat them by that. Down beat uh, Donegal by one point that day. Both and uh, the, the player that, that lost, that beat Donegal that day, was Val Kane. Oh, yes. Val Kane was a, was a minor player. Yeah. But um, it was so good that they that they held him for the We're senior. So they the down paid, uh, paid Donegal the same as they did in the final. Uh, very, very hot day in Calvin. Was there, was there a penalty dispute? Was it Liam Hartley? Was it a penalty dispute that day? We were in Jerry Club. First touch I got of the ball, and I remember after that, like, like I got a few balls in. Yeah. I played to Frankie McFeely was playing. Yeah. And, you know, once I got the first ball, it was okay. Yeah. I was really nervous up to that. Nervous. Yeah. Wondering when I was going to get the first touch, you know. Yeah. You, you, you played as well with Donegal in, in Wembley. Yeah, I did, uh, I did, uh, I played with uh, <laughs> uh, 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 a great Britain selection. I was, uh, I was marking a teammate. Packies that day. Damon McNeilis was captain of the Red Bull team. Was the man with the famous hole down here, is that right? Uh, uh, yes, right. Uh, Damon. Uh, 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 uh
<laughs> wow, the nice gentleman like that. Fair enough. No bother to Andy. But it was an experience in the South too, man. It was really good too. Yeah, right. yeah. And then are the clubs stuck to New York there? That's the right. Yeah. Yeah. Highlight. Highlight. Really. Yeah. This is a, well, I was out of the county in 74. The county was in the New York in 74 on the trip. Yeah. And then the club went back there and it was 78, was it? 79. It was really enjoyable. Yeah. And all the boys to play along with them, like Gilly yeah. Park and Philadelphia. Yeah. It was a great trip all the time. Some of them. Some of them always remember. Some of them always. Yeah. But always two very good games too up the north. Way back ten years ago, the tournaments up around two, no matter of Felton. Mm -hmm. We a good batch of players at that particular time. We'd, we were out two and three nights a week there in the north, and we had very, very good, good team. The Queen's team then right enough to go able to hold their own with the best in Derry and Trail. Yeah. And, and all, the, all, the, all the clubs up there like wanted, wanted your club there. McCoon's was the attraction. You know, yeah. remember that? Like that's the yeah. 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 team you won the double on two right? That's right. right. Minor, 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 minor,
and the party of Shea was thrown back down and none of them was right. Throw man was a bull that day too, as far as I know. Game two. That's right, that's right. And, uh, well, Jimmy Barry had got three goals in the first half. That's right. So, Jody and Neil, I don't know, did he switch Peter or did he take him off? He took him off, he took and he was off. Far, too, far too long. He well, that's right. Off. Jimmy had three, three goals got at that stage. Uh, then in the second half, he got another goal. I was marking him. But uh, he was a class player. He looked a player that, you know, he didn't need to go for anything. He had to go to the back. A big burst of speed and there was a flash you could have on the left at that time it was really, really it was a big player for us. I think uh, you know uh, talking to Andy here and uh, about his strengths and one thing or another, um, he's had a great uh, career inter county wise. And I think uh, from within the club and I, I think within all the clubs in the county, I think he's uh, very much remembered for the sterling performances that he that he consistently played with this club here with the goals here. Uh, there was rarely a game I think that uh, that he didn't shine or play very well. And I, I know uh, from one now who knows him well I know that if the if the club won a game and he himself didn't play well he was very disappointed. Yeah. He, he set himself very uh, himself very high standard and I think that more than anything else I think um, shows the, the, the type of a player that Andy Gordon was. And I think in years to come, when, uh, when we're old and grey, um, we'll know that uh, when people talk, I'll be able to say, and Eugene and uh, other men will be able to say, well, I played alongside him, I know what he was like, so, and that type of thing. And it's, uh, it's a good thing to nice talk about a player like that, I think. It's a nice way to know. It is indeed. And I think like, there's a player also who made, never made, he, he, he made friends. Yeah. Very, very easy and never made any mistakes. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a great thing to say about yeah. first. You know, and that's genuine. Like, that's that's right. that's well, he is a, well. he's an enemy of mine to points, all right, but six or seven years ago, he's a man that put me out of football down in Cardona. He, he gave me a bad ball and I turned on my leg and I never played football since. <laughs> <laughs> Suicide pass the call. Suicide. It was really a good enough pass, but you were coming on that hard. You jinked and you hit the pump on the ground in your knee. Yeah, it wasn't the same as I I'm sorry for anything in that, in that time that left you out of football service. And he was no one up then. Okay, Andy. Right. Thanks very much. Uh, I hope you have many, many more years left. Thanks, Thanks for that. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, Andy. Thanks. 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 Thanks.